Welcome. We are VidQ Industries here to present VidQTA, our solution for online help hours. I am Jason Lassig, one of the front end developers on this project. I'm Andrew, and I worked on the back end and the front end. Hi, everyone. My name is Jose Monterosso, and I primarily worked full stack. I'm Dan Paul Nankeshwar, and I worked primarily on the back end. Now that we've met the team, let's talk about what help hours look like when you are not able to attend in person to talk to a TA or a professor. For students, it often means that you have to learn a different methodology or use a different technology for each of the courses that you are in. Sometimes it means you have to email a link to your TA, hope they receive it to put you in the queue. It can also mean that you have no idea how many people are in front of you or how long it's going to take for you to get your help. It also means that sometimes you have to post your private information publicly that you would otherwise not want to expose. For TAs and professors, it can mean that there's a lot of added overhead, as the technologies such as Zoom breakout rooms don't offer the amount of control that is necessary to efficiently run your help hours. In the case of the School of Computing at the University of Utah, it means managing multiple websites at once with the existing CSTA queue and whichever video conferencing option the course uses. It also means that it is difficult to group students that have similar questions, which means TAs and professors end up answering the same question multiple times and using more of their help hours on the same concepts. Our solution is to combine the TAQ with video conferencing into VidQTA. We integrate aspects of the existing TAQ and different video conferencing systems and what we liked into a solution that promotes grouping students based on their questions that allows for a discussion between them and hopefully reducing some of the overhead as they are able to answer the questions for each other. Of course, our solution is available on the web for easy access, no matter where the user may be. It also provides a medium for collaboration, just like would happily happen naturally in person in the Cade Lab at the University of Utah. Some of the features that we have taken from different video conferencing options and the TAQ include a chat feature, video conferencing, screen sharing, an in-place whiteboard, as well as a queue of students that need help. Of course, there are more features than I have time to highlight here. So with that, we will get into our demo, where Dan Paul is a student that needs to get help in a course that he is in, and Andrew is a TA running his help hours. Hi everyone, my name is Dan Paul Nankeshwar, and as Jason said, I will be a student for today's VidQTA demo. So firstly, what you can see here is our courses page where we have all the listings for courses in the CS department for the University of Utah. Let's say that you're enrolled in CS 1010. You can go ahead and enroll here and you have access to our VidQTA page. And at the end of the semester, you can just as easily leave. For the purposes of this demo, I will be a student in CS 4150, the University of Utah's algorithms course. So if we hit the go button, we'll go ahead and look at the overview page for algorithms. So you can see here, there's a bunch of different panels. So let's go through them one by one. Firstly, on the left-hand side, we have the chat. So what I can do is I can go ahead and say hello. And this set sends a message to everyone who is currently also on this overview page. And as you can see, Andrew has responded, welcome me to the overview page. The next thing you can see is just below that is we have an FAQ bot. And what this is used for is if students have commonly asked questions or they might want to get help very quickly, TAs might have prepared an answer for certain types of questions, so we can always query that bot and see if they have any answers. So let's say we have issues with a graph, which is a common data structure in computer science, and uh, we can ask the, F the FAQ bot if there's any answers, and it says there aren't any, but that's okay because we want to show off our room functionality. So we're going to go ahead and create a room, and firstly, we have two options for rooms, public and private. Public is to promote student collaboration. Um, let's say you are in person in the lab and you want to talk to other students, this is what that is used for. And private rooms are for if you're in a course where you have to share your code with another TA, you don't want other students to see that. So that's kind of just a private uh, room where you can just share your code with a TA. So let's say that I have issues with the graph, as we stated before, and I'll go ahead and create this room. Once we create the room, we come to the room view. And what we can do here is we can see that we have the chat and the FAQ bot on the left hand side still, but now we have the ability to enter the queue. We also have a whiteboard that is collaborative, so anybody else in the room can draw on the whiteboard. And we also have video conferencing, which Andrew will show off a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the queue, uh, and Andrew will be able to help me in just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to Andrew, who will talk a little bit about his view from the TA side. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Fraser, and today I'll be walking you through the TA view of VidQTA. So as you can see, I've already joined the algorithms course where Dan Paul is waiting with a question, but first we want to go through some of the functionality of the TA view. So here you can see the queue as usual, but there's a bit more functionality than I'm a TA. 
Um, I can close the queue it, when I'm done with my hours, and then that will also allow me to open it when I want to start them up again. Um, freezing the queue, we'll go ahead and freeze all the rooms that are in the queue and not allow any new students to join. Uh, this is nice if I only have like 10 minutes left and there's one or two students left and I don't want new students to join because I won't be able to help them in time. Um, you can see in the chat, I can do the usual chatting or I can also send an announcement. So maybe I want to say that I'll be leaving in 10 minutes, that I can tell everyone that. And everyone in any of the rooms or also in the overview page will be able to see that. I can also search for any students here. And then here I can add a response to the FAQ bot. So if I've gotten a question a lot in help hours and I want students to be able to search for it quickly, I can go ahead and add that to the FAQ bot. Now to go back to the queue, um, you can see um, for any of the rooms in the queue, I can go ahead and join it directly, remove it, or move down. Or I can also click this button to just go to the next room in the queue. So I'll go ahead and do that so we can get to helping Dan Paul. And now you can see we're in the room with Dan Paul, and we can go ahead and video chat with them. Hello, Dan Paul. And to draw some of the other TA functionality while you're inside of a room, uh, we also have polling. So I can go ahead and create a poll here and ask the students some questions. Uh, this is really nice. Say you're in like a large review setting with many students, and you want to see, okay, how many students are familiar with this concept? How many students feel good about it? You can ask who feels good about this, and then yes or no and sort of gauge the room, see how the room feels about it. Here we have a live interactive whiteboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and help Dan Paul with this question. He was a little confused on graphs. So maybe we'll draw a couple of example graphs, walk through them. And that will help Dan Paul to understand graphs. As you can see, it's live interactive. So if I draw something, then Dan Paul will be able to see it and then he can also draw as well. Once we've drawn enough and I feel like Dan Paul understands the concept well enough, I'll go ahead and say bye to him and move on to the next student in the queue. And then since there's no one in the queue, I can go ahead and close the queue and finish up my hours. Um, now that I'm finished going through the TA view, I'll go ahead and pass it off to Jose, who's going to talk about concluding our project. Thank you, Dan Paul and Andrew, for that wonderful showcasing of our system. Now I'd like to spend a few minutes discussing our utilized technologies. The QTA is an ASP.NET stack on Azure using an SQL database. We use Jitsi for video conferencing capabilities so that we can interact in an online setting through video and audio devices. Jitsi also allows us to personalize your background and share a screen. We use Microsoft's Azure Bot services, which uses machine learning, artificial intelligence, and natural language processing as an FAQ bot within our system. Our FAQ bot is used so that we can quickly and accurately answer any user questions. We use WBO, which is an interactive whiteboarding system for each room within VidQTA. As you can imagine, this is extremely helpful when you need to draw diagrams or figures to answer questions. We use charting.js for polling results so that any type of polling form that T has created and sent to students, the results will now be displayed in charts or diagrams so that TA can quickly assess any changes to the questions and learning within that room. With over 300 commits, 103 merge requests, and 160 issues, VidQTA has grown within the span of 16 weeks to offer the University of Utah a great solution to online help hours. We also have a set of tests for each web page on the site. These tests are used in our Azure continuous integration pipeline so that every time we push new functionality to our system, everything gets tested before we publish. Not only has our system grown programmatically, but we talked to over 17 different users, including professors, TA assist teaching assistants, and students, and asked them how our system can help them on an online setting. This led to changes in usability of our site and adding new personalized functionality to our system. So this is VidQTA, our solution for online help hours, which incorporates aspects of the University of Utah TAQ that you know and love with video conferencing capabilities and added whiteboard, FAQ bot, and with polling and chat functionalities. We hope that you enjoy using VidQTA just as much as we enjoyed creating it. Thank you.